So many people today, more than ever, are becoming real estate agents. With the current landscape of high interest rates, more people on the fence, and more agents than ever, it's becoming harder and harder for a brand new agent to get that first sale. After all, the failure rate in real estate is about 87%. So the vast majority of people who start in this business actually fail. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down the seven things you need to do to be successful as a real estate agent and make sure you can secure those first few deals in your first year that you can stay afloat. So I'm gonna give you some really key advice on how to do that if you just stay tuned for this video. If you don't know me, my name is Eric B. Preston. I'm the founder and CEO of Agent Launch. Uh, we have a team of 18 and we service over 150 real estate clients ourselves, helping them generate leads and do a lot more than that. That's not what this video is about because if you're a brand new agent, you're not our ideal client. So I'm just here to support you in your journey along the way. So without further ado, let's get into the seven things you need to do to be a successful real estate agent at the end of the day. First thing you need to do is find a mentor and start learning. Being a perpetual learner is one of the best things you can do as a real estate agent, but also as a business person. So make sure you're putting time in your calendar to always learn and aligning yourself with mentors who've actually been there, done that. So I have a lot of mentors and I'll mention some of them through this video, but make sure you find a really strong mentorship group where you can be a part of so you don't have to blaze the path yourself because there's so many other people who've already been there, done that. The thing you got to understand though, is there's so many different ways to build your real estate business. And a lot of companies are going to sell you on their specific methodologies and why they use them so that you can buy their products. And what this often leads to as real estate agents is shiny object syndrome. You keep buying into solution after solution after solution only to never commit to any of them. And a lot of them are not really going to work out because there's actually a lot of bad marketing agents out there in real estate. So one of the things I'm going to tell you in this video is how to stay focused. And one of the things you can do to stay focused is to get a really good mentor to help you stay focused. Get a good coach, get a good mentor, find a good group of individuals that you resonate with that you feel like you can learn a lot from who've been there, done that. So that's the first thing. The second thing you're going to want to do to get your first sale in real estate is to create a schedule. This is a really underrated thing, but start using Google Calendar and start time blocking your day. Here's how I would make your schedule if you're just starting out. You're going to put the first hour of the day into education. Every day you want to make sure you're at least spending one hour a day watching videos, taking part in a course, learning, teaching yourself and educating yourself on the real estate business. It's really easy at first to start getting into how contracts work and the technical details of being an agent, but you want to focus more of that energy on sales and marketing. Because if you don't focus on sales and marketing, you're never even going to get opportunities to step up to bat and actually put together a contract and make a deal happen for someone. And you're going to, at the end of the day, learn a lot of those skills as you go. So make sure that you spend a lot of your time on sales and marketing and making sure you can market yourself to generate opportunities. But when you get those opportunities, you can actually knock them down and close them. The second thing I would schedule into your day is two to three hours of pure prospecting. So this is sales, making sure that you're spending time prospecting your sphere of influence. If you have a database already, if you have a past network that you want to take advantage of, and I'll get into different lead generation ideas in a minute, but whatever your lead generation source is, you want to make sure that you're prospecting those leads and making touch points and having real estate conversations with people and just putting yourself out there to let people know that you are a licensed real estate agent and practicing those conversations because the only way to get good at sales is by doing it. And the only way you're going to do that is by doing it many times over in order for you to be successful by practicing and working on your skills just by doing. Now, the third thing I'd mark in your schedule is content. Make sure that you're scheduling time in your day to make content. This is something a lot of real estate agents don't get to right away. But if you become great at making content in the early stages of your career, you're going to have a much easier time later because you're going to be so far ahead of all those other people who waited. So make sure that you're making time to make content content, studying the business, learning things, and trying to translate that into video format. So you're actually creating content for people who are watching you. This is going to help you build authority in the minds of all the people who are now discovering that you're actually a licensed real estate agent. You're actually trying to transact real estate. And the best way to learn something is by forcing yourself to teach it. Because by teaching something, you're forcing yourself to understand it really, really well to the point where you can actually teach it to someone. So this is actually going to help you learn in the process. Okay, now let's get on to some of the fun stuff. So step number three is is to find yourself two good lead generation sources. Now, I'm going to rattle off a bunch of examples, but I want you to pick one or two of them to really focus your energy on. So these lead generation sources could be your sphere of influence. So your network of current people it could be door knocking. Don't recommend that cold calling. Don't really recommend that either. It could be Instagram, could be Facebook, could be YouTube, could be TikTok, could be Twitter, could be LinkedIn. It could be a past network you have professionally or personally, it could be a sports organization. It could literally be anything 
where you can network and get out there and put yourself out there and start having real estate conversations. My company, Agent Launch, we help people build their business through Google Ads and through YouTube. Now, in order to embark on Google Ads, you need to be able to spend some money. So if you do have money to invest in your real estate business, you can definitely go to agentlaunch.com slash apply and apply to work with us and we can see if it's a good fit. But if you are a brand new agent without a huge budget, you probably aren't ready to work with us just yet. So Google Ads is a great source of new potential clients because people are actually typing in into Google things that would indicate that they're actually interested in transacting real estate in your market. Whereas running Facebook ads, for example, doesn't have that same effect. YouTube is the same way. When people actually type into YouTube, what's it like to live in your city? You can put a video in front of them and then they can watch that. You can build trust with them. And you know that person's a targeted client because they're actually actively typing in their keyboard, what's it like to live in that city, which would indicate they're looking to move there or something of the sort. So those are my favorite sources are search engine based. So this could be blogging, Google ads, YouTube ads, for example, those are things I tend to prefer, but there's so many things you can do. The biggest advice I can give you though, is to choose two of them and stick to them and become a master at them. Once you get really, really good at them, you're going to get disproportionate results from doing that than everyone else who's trying to do everything and be everything to everyone. When if you just become really, really good at these couple things, you're going to get disproportionate results for doing that. So that's number three is actually finding two predictable and consistent lead generation sources that you can really maximize. Step four is in line with the first part of creating your schedule, which is training yourself. People underestimate how important it is as a real estate agent to become a master at sales. No matter how many opportunities you get, if you're not a master at sales, you're not going to maximize the potential of most of them. This is a skills based market we're in today, meaning the best agents are going to get most of the deals, the ones who are better and more qualified and are working on their skills, they're the ones that are going to get most of the deals because they're ready. And this is one of the reasons as a new agent, it's harder and harder for you to get started and actually succeed today is because there's a lot of other agents who have more skills than you do. So especially if you come from a sales background or things like that, that's really going to help you. But make sure you're working on your skills and practicing them, practicing your scripting, working in an environment where you can practice with other people and learn from great mentors. There's lots of great sales trainers out there. One of my mentors in the early days, Jason Smard, he did 135 home sales in his first year. He came from a background of sales, took out a loan, invested in lead generation, and he really went hard in his first year. And he sold more houses in his first year than anyone I've ever met. The guy's a complete ninja at sales. So if you want to learn from someone, go look up Jason on YouTube. Jason Smard, he's one of the best people you can learn from in terms of phone sales and talking to people about real estate and how to maximize opportunities. There's lots of other great coaches out there with free content too, like Craig Proctor, Mike Ferry, Tom Ferry, you name it. There's a lot of people you can get free education from on YouTube, the platform you're probably on listening to me right now. So make sure you're spending time on your sales skills so that you know what to say and make sure you're in a container where you can practice those skills with other people on a regular basis so that when you do get into an environment when someone asks you, how's the market? You know exactly what to say and you know exactly how to turn that conversation into an appointment so you can actually talk real estate and potentially getting a sale. All right, now step five, and I'm really big on this, is have an action bias. A lot of people are going to really just focus on the first piece, which is education, but you need to follow that up with a strong action bias. That's the second part of the calendar schedule I told you to put together, which is prospecting. Make sure you're taking a large amount of action repetitively because repetitive action over time is how you become successful in any business because that's what's going to make you better and better and better. And this goes the same for your content. If you just have to accept that your first 10 videos are probably going to suck, you need to get through them and through repetition and watching yourself and having a good mentor around you who can teach you, you're going to get better and better and better over time. If you want to learn how to create good videos and start working on YouTube, I'm going to link a video up here that you can check out on the 10 steps to succeed on YouTube as a real estate agent. So make sure you check that out if you do want to leverage video. That'll give you a really fundamental understanding of how to go about it. But make sure that you're focused on repetition and doing it over and over and over and over again, because that's the only way you're actually going to get very good at it. And that goes for making content, prospecting and sales. And then the only way you're going to do that is by starting with actually learning. Now, step six, I've actually kind of alluded to it already, but it's just start making content. You've carved it into your calendar now two to three hours a day of actually making content. Just start doing it. Put together yourself a brand, something you can get behind. I highly recommend not going with your personal brand right away. I definitely find a lot of people go with like Eric Preston real estate and then they want to change it later once they want to build a team and all this stuff. Find a brand like I just helped a client build living in West LA. So that's a brand when you build a team, people can get behind that brand and it means something local to the market. So start building a brand 
and making content leveraging that brand and building that over time. Now, you may be shy of making content in the early days, but that's where the first piece I talked about comes in about learning. Make sure you're learning, following other people that are doing things well and start mirroring some of the things they're doing and following that mentorship and start making content around it. Because again, if you want to learn something, one of the best ways you can do is start to teach it because it's going to force you to really understand it at a fundamental level. So start making content, start that game early. You will pay you dividends later, I promise. And then the last step, step number seven is stay focused, everyone. This is one of the things I'm always trying to drill into my clients' heads is staying focused. So many people like to start complicated, but here's a simple thing you can remember. Simple scales and fancy fails. Most agents start fancy and they fail. What you need to do is start simple and scale that simple. Then you can get fancy later once you have a lot of infrastructure to do so. So simple scales and fancy fails. So make sure you're starting simple and focusing on one or two lead generation sources, building time in your calendar for education, prospecting, and content, and then consistently sticking with that over time. And you will get opportunities and you will have the skill set to start converting them when they come through the pipeline. So that's what I got for you is these seven steps. And I hope that helps you become successful as a real estate agent. If by chance you're not absolutely new and you do have a budget and you want to work with a company that'll help you own your client acquisition and not rent it like every other agency, you can definitely click on the link in the description, which will take you to agentlaunch.com slash apply. And you can apply to work with Agent Launch. If you're looking for mentorship in another way and you haven't chosen a brokerage yet and you want to explore joining EXP and our collaborative movement where I've partnered with my man, Jason Smart, where we actually offer a lot of complimentary mentorship and education just for choosing me as your sponsor. By joining EXP and choosing me as your sponsor, you're going to get into the collaborative movement where we have a whole coaching calendar of about five to six calls per week. You're going to get access to on top of everything else EXP offers you as an agent so that you can start learning from us on how to create a sustainable and realistic real estate business with all of the things I just discussed with you, YouTube, Google, sales skills, mentorship, all of these things are going to be a part of that. So if you're interested in that, you can go to collaborativemovement.com. There's a link down in the description below as well. But either way, make sure you subscribe and follow my content. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos like this. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.